Hello and welcome back guys. Uh, if you remember last episode I said I would make some major upgrades to this uh, area. Well, it may not look like much but uh, man a lot of effort went into this. Um, but uh, anyway I might show you all this stuff in a moment but um, I want to say what we're going to be doing today really. Uh, today we're going to be setting up a little bit of a setup within this room here. Uh, ignore the hallways, everything looks like crap at the moment. I just haven't had time to fi f fix everything. Uh, that hallway looks pretty good, but I did that ages ago. Um, so yeah, today we are going to be finding a way to automate the production of seeds. Uh, that's going to be hard, by the way, because we don't have MFR, Mine Factory Reloaded. So we can't really use it via a farm method, but uh, I think we're going to use it via bees. Um, so yeah, we're going to be automating some wheat, and then we're going to be um, squeezing it down, which I have four squeezes here, into oil. Then we're going to be pumping out into some massive tanks, which are going to go there. So that's the plan for today's episode. Um, but first... Shall I show you around? This area, it's not done, but I think I should, I'll show you around anyway. Um, so, in here, this setup is actually pretty simple. Uh, it looks really complicated, but it's not. Actually, it doesn't look that complicated. So, in here, we have a couple of uh, bees. Oh, sorry, in here. We have Imperial bees and uh, Imperial drones, and there should be some other Imperial drones and queens somewhere. Uh, they're around. Oh, there's one there, but it has no drone. Um, so yeah, in here, this is what I call the primary chest, and uh, in here is where all the product is going to be placed, and I'm going to have it pumped into the computer at some point. And uh, all the bees and drones and everything all go into the hive via this pipe, and then everything gets taken out into this pipe. So this pipe can only pull out... Uh, oh god, no. Um, that's bad. That's actually pretty bad. This pipe here can actually only pull out um, inverted raw, uh, can only pull out raw jelly and dripping comb. So, yeah, that's that. That's how that works. But uh, pretty generic setup. Apiary is easy peasy. Uh, how the hell do I get out of here? By the way, uh, this whole place is just a mess. I need some way of like, making it look better. But um, but yeah, that's for another time. But this is the setup which is taken forever. I took forever on this. Ow! God damn it. Um, so, there's a creeper down there. That's very helpful. Right, so, after a lot of back and forth, uh, the creeper is down. Okay, cool. So, in here we have basically a ton of alvearies, and we've got some lighting blocks here, and then there's nine frame housings underneath the alveary. I know the efficiency drops off after about five uh, frame housings, but uh, I'll put them in anyway. So, yeah, they're all getting fed by this pipe. Just keep that in mind. And um, they're, yeah, they're just getting fed by that pipe. That's all pretty much all I can say about that, really. Uh, okay, but this is where things, the magic starts to happen. Um, hey, cool. So, uh, this pipe is actually, everything that's coming from the alveries are going into here. Uh, this pipe is actually pow piping out only silk comb, which is then being sent into, uh, into down there. Um, I'm not sure why there's a second chest there. I think that's just like an additional buffer I added out. And this is um, not pumping, um, pumping out silk cone. So it's pumping out everything but silk cone. And then the same is happening here. Uh, the reason I've got to have two transfer nodes here is because inverted tropical drones. Uh, so it allows everything but tropical drones through. And uh, this allows everything only tropical drones through. That's because of the sort of round robbing effect. Like, it will take the two trees as the same. So, some alvearies won't get tropical queens, and some will get way too many drones if I do that. But if I have a separate like round robin effect for each of them, then they all get pumped into their correct area. Unfortunately, transfer nodes do not um, actually connect directly to the alveary unless you're using transfer nodes to pull out. But uh, the normal transfer node I can just show you here does not connect, as you can see. So I have to have them being pumped into chests, all the bees and stuff, which are then being pumped out into the alveary, as you can see here. So, <laughs> very complicated, but um, that's not even the hard bit. That's nothing. We're about to get into the technical side. So, we got this transfer pipe coming from this chest here. 
and uh, this is where all the frames for the frame housings actually go so yeah that's where that goes and if we head up to the top hey cool so we're at the top after a long time so basically uh, this is this pipe here this one here is where all the sort of silky com combs come out from the alvearies being uh, centrifuged into silky into Wait, what's it being centrifuged into? Hang on, let's check. Silky Propolis, yes. It's being centrifuged into two products. Silky Propolis and Honey. So yeah, I got some honey building up in here. Um, and then the Silky Propolis is being centrifuged again into Normal Propolis and Silk Wisp. And then the Silk Wisps are being pumped into here, as you can see, and then converted into String. And then the String is being pumped into here where it's being, being mixed with sticks to be made into frames and then the frames are going right back into the alvearies. Frames are being used to make frames. Um, so yeah and this is where all the wood comes down. So we got oak wood here uh, being turned into planks, being turned into sticks and then being turned into frames. So yeah I need a supply of oak wood but I can't just use mine factory loaded to chop down trees but um, I'm thinking I can maybe use some bees. Which brings me on to the next little bit. Um, first, before we start off any of the uh, sort of tanks or anything, uh, we are actually going to uh, look at this bee that I've made here. So, on the wiki, the wiki is actually wrong here. It says you can make a, this thing called a wooden bee using forest and a diligent. And uh, when I did that, I uh, actually only got a growing princess. Now, I presume growing princess is what it's supposed to be. I have no idea, so I'm just hoping that that's the right thing. Um, and then if I press uses on the growing princess, you can actually make a thriving with a rural and uh, to make a thriving one. So I'm hoping that will be like the sort of semi wood production and then you can use the thriving to make a blooming. Um, so yeah, hoping that's the right way to do things, but uh, we're, to get a rural which we need to do first is to actually mix these diligent ones and we need more Mutatron. Okay, so I put the Mutagen in and uh, it actually made a rural so that's the correct thing. We just need to wait for that to turn into a princess but um, and then we can mutate it with the growing one to actually make a thriving, uh, yeah a thriving bee. Hopefully that would be the right thing but that's just a little experiment of mine. So let's get down to the seed squeezing chamber thing um so yeah let's uh, do that and i think we're gonna do it over here in this tower well in the bottom area of this tower very right, cool so we're gonna have let's think about this we're gonna have the seeds being put into here so i think i'm gonna start it here because we may need to add some centrifuges if we're going to produce um, it via bees because they may produce combs uh, okay cool so let's jump up here and then boom okay cool so we got a line of squeezers there and then the squeezer will need to be taken out using trans liquid transfer nodes and then be sent directly to the tanks I guess. Um, yeah, I'm hoping there's a bee that can uh, actually make seeds. If there isn't a bee that can make seeds then this is all uh, worthless but oh well. Um, the setup will still be valid, we just need another way of making seeds. Okay, cool. So, what is this stone brick here? Okay. Uh, nice. Okay, we need to go down one more. Uh, that would be why. So, we'll put that there. And then we'll go down one there. And then we'll just move along like this. I'll just dig to the middle of the area. Okay, cool. So, I've dug right up to the middle area. The liquid transfer node should be working over there. So, we will have a tank. We will have tank one just about here and we want a middle kind of area. So we will put tanks along, oh wait, no. We'll put tanks along the edge of this area here. So we'll do it like that and then like that. Uh, should we do it a bit better? No, that, that'll do. We'll have it like this, okay. So we'll have it by three by three with the middle actually being left hollow because we're gonna need some way of actually pumping out of these tanks as well. So. We don't want the pipe to pump out to be on the outside. We want to go down the middle. And uh, yeah, how we're going to stop it from connecting to the tanks is by using um, is by using some covers. And hopefully that'll work. 
So I think I might, uh, in my own time, make a little platform to this thing and then add it on there. So yeah, I think that's how that's going to work. It looks pretty cool. Um, well, it doesn't really. You may be wondering why don't I just use some normal tanks, but uh, when I typed in tank, if I type in tank, yeah, there's not really much choice. There's the Billcraft tanks and then there's the thermal expansion tanks. And that's about it. Um, yeah. Unless these tanks here are like s some kind of weird thing, I don't know. But uh, mm, I don't know. If there's some better way, feel free to tell me. Uh, so, yeah. We'll have the pump in being pumped like this. Okay, cool. And we'll move that. And then we'll take the pump in over here. And down here. And then we'll just link it all the way back to the squeezers. Okay, right, cool. So we're almost at the squeezers now. We should be pretty much there. We uh, literally just ran out of transfer pods. Pods? <laughs> transfer nodes. Hey, okay, cool. So we got liquid transfer nodes pumping out the seed oil into that tank. Awesome. So we need a few more liquid transfer nodes and then we should be pretty much good to go. Hey, okay, cool. So I made this tiny little structure. It may change. I may put a roof kind of thing on top of it. I think a roof kind of thing may look kind of cool. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of same. I Kind of the same kind of principle, I just moved it up a little bit more. So, yeah, let's just quickly break out these things here. And then we have an upwards pipe, if we just do it like this. I think we'll have pipes going all the way from every corner because uh, it will look pretty cool if I do it like that. So, like this. Very okay, cool. And then, you know what? you don't even need to connect these pipes. Yeah, let's not bother. It's only looks that we need from the outside. So, yeah, that it's all being fed from that one pipe just here into all those things. And then we are actually going to have to do something pretty tricky. Uh, we're going to have to go right up to the top. And I made the correct amount of transfer notes. We put these things on the top. And then we can actually connect them up. Uh, if we break down we could have used our shovel but a well um <laughs> okay cool so this tank this is the tricky part here guys um so we're gonna have to put covers on every side like this and uh, then we can actually get down you know it, that kind of looks pretty cool coming down the middle like that all right guys so i'm on the final stage now and uh, that should be pretty much complete okay cool so just in case you haven't figured it out about on your own by now guys Basically the reason why we need to put the covers around is so it doesn't connect into the tanks again and then sort of end up in just some kind of weird loop where the oil just goes round and round in the tanks. That would be uh, looking very weird of going up and down all the time. Okay, cool. So, now we just need to connect it back to our base, so let's quickly do that. Okay, cool. So we're almost back at base. I thought I'd just show you the last little bit here because we are almost there. So we just got to link this up to our area and then we'll have another secondary tank to, in order to uh, actually sort of use this kind of stuff um, if we ever need the oil from where we are. So now we just need to uh, get out of this hole and link those two pipes here and then we can jump on out. Nope, we can... Uh, <laughs> Break two blocks and have to get up again. Okay, nice. And then use the remainder of our tanks we got here. And then uh, just do it into there. So this is where the oil should uh, back up first. And then once that tank is full, it should fill up the big tank. So, um, yeah, I think all that remains is to get a couple of seeds and uh, actually try this thing out. All right, guys. So I have got, uh, I've gone and grabbed a couple of seeds out of the computer, or stack of seeds actually, and I've also linked up some power to these squeezers. Uh, so yeah, so these things should be working. So basically, the idea is once the bees produce seeds, they will actually get put into seed form and then be put into a squeezer and then squeezed. If we just uh, take up about, uh, if we just use them all to its all the squeezers to their max potential. Just grab another stack and then put it in there. Okay, awesome. So all the squeezers should be now working and the seed oil should actually come out of the the squeezer and then go into this tank. Uh, let's go bed first, actually. Hey, right, cool. So now we are here. Doesn't look like much is going on, guys. Um, I know it doesn't produce oil very fast, but uh, maybe it's just moving through the system so fast that we can't tell. Liquid transfer nodes, 48 in the seed oil. We may need to put some speed upgrades in these transfer nodes, guys. Um, 
You know, it should work all eventually if we just wait and give it enough time. It should eventually come back around into this system. If it doesn't, then we know we got some kind of flaw somewhere. If it doesn't if it just disappears, then uh, <laughs> we got some problems here. Oh, by the way, this is just scaffolding. You can normally climb it, but uh, there's a block above us, so you cannot. Um, okay, it doesn't look like there's any oil in the remainder of the tank just there. So, really, what what's taking so long? Uh, let's just have one more look and see if it's working. Ah, yes, we got oil in our tank. So, we got uh, some automatic squeezing with a massive buffer Looks that looks really cool. That's what we created in this little short area. We just need some bees that will actually produce some wood and some seeds. So, yeah, that's all we got to pretty much do. Uh, let's have a look. Ah, oh, this hasn't been working, has it? God damn it, rural. What flowers do you need? God damn it, that's a lot of waste of time. Um, flowers needs... Wait, wheat. This might be the rural. Might actually be the guy that we're looking for here. Uh, go away. Freaking ow. Jeez. Just, just, just get out. Okay, cool. So, wow. We might have just stumbled upon the bee that actually produces the wheat. Um, we got the seeds actually. So, wheat and comb. I hope it doesn't actually produce normal wheat. Otherwise, we got a problem there because it, we need to squeeze seeds, not the wheat. Unless you can, you squeeze wheat? I'm not sure. I don't think you can. So, this badger here needs some wheat. So, if we put it here, is it going to be in range of the wheat? Looks like it is. And we've got some uh, frames and stuff here. So, yeah, guys, that is our thing. If we press uses, what can it be used? Farmed queen, so I bet that's like the improved version of the seeds. So, what the hell is the growing one actually do? Is Does the growing, uh, sorry, the thriving and then the growing one. What does this badger do? Does it actually produce the wood? I'm not too sure. Uh, not the right seeds. God damn it. Do I, do I have to do this? Um, seeds. And we only got one. Great. Can we get a couple more here? Yes. Okay. Nice. And we need a hoe. Let's go get ourselves a hoe from the computer. Hoe. Uh, yes, we got more than a hoe. More than one hoe left. Okay. Nice. So, we uh, need to eat some food, but to know why bother. So, we'll just put some food, some seeds here. And then hopefully, that should actually do the job. Um, not finding the right flowers. Yep. Let's just wait, see if they get to work. It may actually need a full growth of of wheat. That might be the problem. Um, or maybe it's just not, we haven't waited long enough. Okay, let's go get some bone meal. Hey, right, cool, so after uh, bone mealing this wheat, we actually seem to have a working rural queen. So that is actually going down. Short, shorter life, slower worker. It's kind of annoying. Um, so yeah, that actually does look pretty cool if we have a couple of them. Um, okay, so uh, one little thing I need to improve to this system is actually the bees are actually pretty crappy. Like they're very slow production and they got, they're got they just very annoying. So if I was to put every single one of the bees through the template that we have that makes them fast production and stuff, then uh, that'd be great. Is all of these bees stopped working? I bet what's happened is the... Um, queens have actually yeah ended up in slots without drones yeah I need to actually finish off putting queens in there uh, the way I've been doing that guys is if I look at my t my uh, thing uh, a genetic template with the species of industrious and I've just been putting the uh, I've just been putting normal forest queens and forest drones and stuff in with this industrious template and that gives me industrious bees so that's how I've been doing that and I've also got one for um, uh, What's the other name? Imperial. Yes. Uh, I've got one for Industrious and Imperial. So, yeah. Awesome. So, I believe that's about it, guys. Uh, there's still a hell of a lot of work to do in this uh, place. But, um, but yeah. Hopefully, that'll be good. Next episode, we'll have some kind of wood production, hopefully. And then some kind of uh, wheat production. And then maybe uranium as well. Um, so... Yeah, awesome. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that episode. Leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe definitely if you haven't already. And uh, I will see you in the next episode, guys. Bye.